hello and welcome friend so in previous video we have seen that uh, like how to export your data in csv format now in this video we're going to see how to export your data in pdf format so to do that one let me show you like i have already added this uh, anchor tag for the pdf as well so whenever the user click on this icon uh, this pdf icon then it will uh, call this mapping employees export video and in the employee rest controller i have all uh, i have already defined the function with the add get mapping annotation where we have employees export pdf so whenever we find this mapping it will call this function export to pdf it will take the http servlet response and throws the io exception and uh, we have uh, we have called this services get all employee method in the using that uh, function uh, this service function we are getting the all employee details uh, stored in the database and that we are storing in the list of employee variable which is the list of employee and uh, we are calling the export export to pdf list employee uh, comma service so this function we are calling defined in the exporter class so all this thing uh, we have seen the earlier video uh, you know, like how to export the data using uh, like uh, in csv format so like uh, this is this was this was the intent code uh, like uh, whenever i have to call this uh, set the service response for the csv also and for this pdf also so i have uh, i have called i have created the one function and i am passing the this uh, required parameter which is the based on the file extension and all so i have created a different uh, uh, this uh, uh, function here to set me the response header so as you can see uh, this take this uh, this function is taking response content type extension and prefix and the same same we are doing the date format here like here now we are uh, considering this uh, hour minute and second also and then we are converting this current date uh, time the current date uh, inside the uh, to the this date for date time format and we are uh, creating the file name then we are setting the content type which is the content type coming from this uh, with the source where the function is getting called so from here it is it is getting called dot csv so like sorry this text slash csv and then extension extension dot csv and prefix is the employee so we are creating the file name and after the file name creation we are calling uh, we are setting the header key and header value and uh, we are passing this to response dot set head, set header function so this is the common thing uh, which we need to use in the both both of the function export to pdf and export to csv so i have uh, created a, uh, created a common function to do that one so now come to the uh, come to this part so before doing this we need to add uh, this form dot uh, this dependency is form dot xml this one is the com dot uh, github libre pdf and open pdf is the as the artifact and version name so as you can see on this uh, github site i have opened this open pdf and you can see that open pdf is free java library for creating and editing pdf file with the open license uh, lgpl and mpl open license now what we what we need to do we need uh, on the click on this uh, i'm calling this function and on click on this i have to create i have to download this pdf document so we have the list of the uh, employee and uh, then what we need to do we need to create a document object page size as a4 so depends on requirement you can pass uh, this uh, any type of uh, page size so you can see we have the multiple page size and you can choose any of them any of them based on the requirement now let me undo this change so a4 we need here and uh, then uh, we need to create uh, like pdf uh, pdf writer dot get instance document response dot get output stream so after this document we are opening the document document dot open using document dot open function then uh, for uh, we we can create the font of uh, font details also like what what type of font we want what type of color we want uh, we, we can set the size also and uh, after creating the font size and font color then uh, we can uh, like uh, we need to create a paragraph to show the front page uh, to show the title so so as i'm i'm uh, i have added here to create a new paragraph uh, list of employee and we are passing the font which we we have to set for the title so after this we are calling the para dot set alignment and set alignment is the align dot center so it will uh, align this uh, label on the center of the document and then document dot add para so after that we are adding this uh, paragraph on the document 
so this this is the one thing of like to we can we can get that header like we can get the title on the center of the page and after this uh, this data which uh, we need on the table so on the table what we need to do we need to create the table object of the pdf table and we need to pass the how much type how much how much row we how much column we want here so we we, we need only three columns so we are passing three here and based on a requirement you can do uh, like you can pass the multiple based on your uh, entity object uh, based on your reporting requirement you can do that one so we are passing here three three number of column we want then we are setting the percentage like uh, what type of uh, how much percentage we can use from the page so we want the 100 percent on 100 percent and table before set spacing before what it will do it will uh, space it will create a space between the this paragraph which is earlier added and uh, on, on on between of the table headers so uh, we are setting here the set uh, set spacing before as 10 then uh, we are calling this function to function write employee header we are passing this table object and write employee data we are passing the table and list of uh, employee now let me show you one by one this uh, function what what they are doing so we need to create a one cell and uh, of that cell uh, i am uh, uh, i have i have added the color set background color as the orange and the set padding 5 then for we are also we we, we can uh, we can also set the font on that cell so i am calling this function get font as this one and then set color as the color white and then we we are we can set phrase as new phrase id comma font we can pass the font type which we want then table dot add cell so we need to create the cell object then we need to set uh, we set the cell background color and padding then font whichever we want and then we need to we need we can uh, set phrase uh, cell dot set phrase passing the phrase object using id and font and then we are adding that cell in, on the table dot add cell same we are doing for employee name and department name here after this uh, it it will add this table header on the front end on the document and uh, now if you come to the employee data we are passing this table object and uh, list dot employee so we have the table object then we are calling directly this function table dot add cell string value of employee dot get emp id so whatever we are passing here it should be uh, like it should be string so we are we are converting that employee id which is in, in integer we are converting in the string and then get employee dot get employee name employee dot get department object so now let me execute the program so that we can see the output of the application so as you can see we have the icon here let me click on this and the pdf document has been downloaded and if we open this document you can see this so as you can see we have the list of employees here and the id employee name and department name so whatever the fun style and whatever the fun color uh, color we have set on the back background of the cell that all thing has has been applied here and you let me add one uh, record here so that we can uh, get uh, proper data that data is getting uh, uh, added from the database so rohit and pcf as sorry pcf as the department name now click on the add employee get uh, data inserted successfully get click on the get uh, all employee list here we are get we will get the all employee details here rohit as the pcf and uh, download again this pdf file so that we, we will get the latest data and open this uh, document now and if you see that it is uh, appending the current date and time as well so we are we, uh, we are we have added this rohit like uh, in this uh, document so i hope you got this idea like how to download how to create the export functionality to get a document as the xcsv and pdf so in that we have first set the response header and these are the two function export to csv export to pdf then export to pdf we have created a document then we have created a pdf writer get instance of uh, that uh, we have we have passed the document and response get output stream then after that we have open a document we have created the font uh, based on the requirement we have also created the paragraph and set the 
set its alignment at the center and then we have added document uh, that paragraph to the document we have created a table as well for the to show the data in the table format then we have uh, uh, like after this document or add table this this were uh, this we have missed in eh? like after document dot add table then we can close the document uh, using document dot close function and we have used these two uh, two function a uh, right employee data and right employee header so if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section i will definitely reply on that and please subscribe to my channel friend thank you